I am Sir Tap Tap, and this is the eighth anniversary of this account. That's not exactly my eighth year on YouTube. I actually went under a different name uh, for about a year before this channel. Um, Tap Tap the Magnificent was actually what it was, and uh, if you go way, way, way back in my old videos, um, you can actually hear me address myself as that. Uh, don't watch those old videos. They're, I have a terrible mic, and I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, to get this out of the way, this is Aesthetic Land, a Vaporwave Mario hack by um, by uh, Super Stiv Boy for the vanilla contest in uh, on Super Mario World Central. I just figured it would be relevant because you may not know this, but when Little Tap Tap started his YouTube channel many many moons ago, um, it wasn't his first video. My first video was actually. Kirby's Dreamland, and I think one of the second ones was uh, Gish, actually. I started indie games real early, um, but one of the things I did, go left, one of the things I did was Super Mario World hacks, and um, Vaporwave wasn't quite a thing that yet, there yet, but uh, <laughs> I just love the look at this hack, and I was actually going to do the steamed, um, Super Stim Boy also made a steamed hams ROM hack. Oh, good, good start. Um, but the, he <laughs> disappeared the Steam's Hams act. Um, I don't know if Super Mario World Central put the kibosh on that or what happened there. But I wanted to just do that for a little joke video at some point. But I guess it got took down, so. Can you feel? Are you Koop? I think you're Koopas. Yeah, you're Koopas. Aesthetic. Um, but yeah, I started out with uh, Mario ROM hacks, partially because, hey, I was in college, I uh, didn't have a lot of money for games, they were good, um, they allowed me to enjoy some variety of games that I couldn't otherwise, and I watched a lot of YouTubers that did Mario ROM hacks, and that's part of why I started, um, like a lot of people, Deceased Crab, I think was my first Let's Player that I, like, knew the name of, Raukow, uh, Proton John, stuff like that, um, I particularly remember watching lots of, uh, Goron, or not Goron guy, wait, uh, Goron guy is the speedrunner, it was a different Goron, like Goron 50 I think, it's, it has been a long long time, and I will admit, I, uh, I kind of forget some of the channels that I watched back then, but it was, there was a lot of Mario hacks, and um, that's kind of what got me started, and then there was also the fact that, you know, uh oh. Guys, how do I get out of that? The controller's being weird. It, diagonals! This game doesn't like diagonals? It's like if I go up and left, it doesn't like. Wanna. Huh. That was weird. Um. Anyway. Oof. One of the nice things about, you know doing uh, ROM hacks was that, you know, I would review people's new ROM hacks, test them out and stuff, and um, that kind of just let me, oh, that's a, huh, it's a plump, um, that would kind of let me get, you know, a guaranteed audience of at least one person, which honestly back then, you know, just having anybody watch my video was really nice. I would see, like, you know, 10 views, I'd be like, wow, 10 people watch my video, and then even though, you know, like, two of those views were myself, and I'm sure half of them didn't even watch more than, like, three seconds, but, you know, it's still a lot to me. Oh, I like, I really like that, the use of the moon, you know, this, it was the sun, now it's the moon. Midway. I will say, by the way, I, I, I non-ironically really love Vaporwave. It's such a good look, great colors, um, it's, uh, it's, just, it's really chill, which I think, honestly, one of my favorite, th something's not right with the controls, but I might have just mapped something wrong, I don't know. I'm also using an Xbox One controller, which feels sacrilegious, but whatever. Um, yeah, I, I just really like Vaporwave, and honestly, I think it looks better and aesthetic level, and has more interesting, like, cohesive interestingness than, like, most major art movements. I know, I know there's an art major out there who is super upset now. Are, are we even still, are we still, you know, in the contemporary, woo! Are we still in the contemporary era? Is that just gonna be what, what it is forever? I don't know. 
And I know contemporary just kind of means now, but I mean, that's what modern meant too, so that's not really... Do you understand? Oh gosh, that's pain. I understand that that is pain. <laughs> that is the chillest fuzzy I've ever seen though, by the way. Look at that guy. But yeah, that... ROM hacks were a good time. This is not exactly, don't exactly take this as like, a, oh, TapTap's gonna do ROM hacks again. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily be entirely opposed to that, but one of my big things with fan projects in general is just that they, they never finish. Like, there's some really promising Sonic stuff I've been, I watched and stuff, and then it's like, it, it never happened. And even when it does happen, like, I played AM2R, um, immediately taken down and uh, I did get and managed to complete AM2R and even got an update for it but uh, it's just kind of discouraging um, that's why I tend to go for more indie stuff really but it was good times with the, with the ROM hacks I um it's all in your head it's all in your head Luigi um, If anyone could find that Steam Hams ROM, by the way, or the IPS patch, they're apparently BPS patches. That's how far, that's how long I've been away from the the modding scene. They're apparently BPS patches, not IPS. And I had to download a new thing. You did it. So yeah, I just thought I would uh, do a little video and say, hey, been eight years, twenty thousand subscribers. I'm just gonna pretend that this screen is being like, you did it, twenty thousand subscribers. Thanks, game. Thanks. And, um, yeah, it's been a pretty awesome eight years. Um, I felt burned out and sometimes, but, um, last couple years have been great, and, um, I hope everyone's really enjoying. I know a lot of different people follow me, and I think one of the big things is just the nice, chill vibes. I've heard from a lot of people that, oh, they may not play the games that I play, and, you know, they don't know what I'm playing, but, like, they just enjoy the environment of the channel or the live streams. Just, you know, I try to provide a nice chill space where you can see something new. That's why, I, you know, I hope people don't... Oh, I should probably finish the level. <laughs> um, I don't think people should feel discouraged because, you know, oh, I don't recognize these games. Because that's kind of why I play a lot of them. I want, I want to show you new things. Like, I hope a lot of people see this for the first time now and they're like, hey... It's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that with Super Mario World. That's that's awesome. Um, yeah, so eight years, I guess. Here's to eight more. Uh, I guess if you want to in the comments, you could say uh, how you ended up finding this channel or what made you subscribe or maybe just your favorite moments. And Let's go down memory lane t together for a bit, I guess. <laughs> I remember... Um, well, I remember a lot of things, but I remember putting up all that Gish stuff and uh, <laughs> editing stuff together and everything has become so much better. And YouTube has gotten so much better in a lot of ways. I use this thing called Cam Studio and YouTube only allowed you to upload 10 minutes at a time. And Cam Studio was like designed for that. So if your video went over 10 minutes long, the audio would start desyncing and I had to use something called Virtual Dub to try to fix it and I was terrible at using that program and um, it was real bad so there's some awkward stuff if you go all the way back not even just me not being comfortable you know doing this sort of situation but also like the the audio would just be a little bit too fast or we get slightly out of sync or various issues happened and uh, speaking of various issues I, I even managed to start this video with both audio tracks muted I don't even know why I had that set up in OBS, but <laughs> it's always something. <laughs> anyway, thanks for a great seven years, or eight years, however many years. Thanks thanks for all the years. And uh, here's to eight more. I already said that, but you know what? Here's to 16 more. We'll, we'll double it. Call this number now. Double your money, etc. <laughs> See everybody.